hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of m uh, so that here we just solve this problem for real values of m and if we have m plus 5 is equals to m <clears throat> and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section <clears throat> and now the very first step we are going to do is here first uh, we need to uh, take the square on both of the sides so that when you take the square it will be written as m plus 5 whole square is equals to m square and now here further in the next step uh, we need to apply here the nice algebraic formula in the left hand side and uh, here we apply this formula if you have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square according to this formula you see here the value of our a is m and the value of our b is 5 uh, so that we put these two values uh, to the left hand side of uh, to the right hand side of the below formula and here you have uh, after applying this formula we write it as uh, m square plus 2 times of m into 5 and plus b square so b is m 5 square and this is equals to m square and now here in the next step we need more simplifications here and we have this is uh, m square plus this is 2 times of 5 becomes here 10 m and plus here we have this is 5 square equals to 25 and this whole equation equals to m square and now here uh, further in the next step we need to move this m square in the left hand side and it will be written as m square plus 10 m plus 25 and this is positive value when we move in the left hand side it will becomes minus m square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step you see here this is negative value and this is positive value are cancelled out by each other and we will obtain here uh, this is 10 m plus 25 equals to 0 and from here we easily get the values of m and now uh, we move this plus 25 to the right hand side and we will get here 10 m equals to minus 25 and for the values of m we move this 10 to the right hand side and we get m is equals to minus 25 over 10 or in other words we divide both of the sides by 10 and we can easily remove this 10 from left hand side and now we need to cancel these terms uh, by the table of 5 and you see here uh, 5 5 are 25 and 5 2 are 10 uh, so that uh, we easily get the value of m is equals to minus 5 over 2 so this is the final value of m in this problem uh, and now here in the next step uh, we need to uh, verify this value of m uh, and we see here is this value of m is satisfied over given question statement or not okay so for uh, verification uh, we need to copy down the given question statement here and our given question statement is m plus 5 equals to m so this is our given question statement and now here we put the value of m on both of the sides of this equation uh, and the value of m is minus 5 over 2 so when you put it here it will becomes minus 5 over 2 plus 5 is equals to minus 5 over 2 and here we need a little bit uh, simplifications in the left hand side in order to check that is both of the sides are equal or not uh, so for this we need to take the LCM in the left hand side uh, so for LCM we need to make first the denominator of both of these terms are same so in order to make these denominators are same uh, we will just multiply and divide this term by 2 in this form and we check that is this equals to minus 5 over 2 or not and now in the next step you see here the denominator of both of these terms are same now we easily take the LCM of these terms and when you take the LCM it will be written as here you cancel these terms and we get minus 5 plus here we cancel these terms and we get here 5 to the 10 and here we check that is this equals to minus 5 over 2 
now further in the next step uh, we need to add or subtract these like terms we have this is minus 5 plus 10 equals to 5 and it is divided by 2 and this is equals to minus 5 over 2 and now you see here in the left hand side we have this is positive term and in the right hand side we have this is negative term and we very well know about that the positive term is not equal to the negative term so uh, we see that 5 over 2 is not equal to minus 5 over 2 so this means that uh, the value of m is equal to minus 5 over 2 is not satisfied this given question statement uh, so here we just write that uh, the value of m is not uh, satisfied uh, to the given question statement okay so uh, if the uh, m the value of m is not satisfied it means that the given question has uh, no real solution okay here we just write that uh, no real solution uh, so that uh, the given equation has empty solution it has no solution okay so this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos